Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to episode 10 of this Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as the French. In the previous episode, we were fighting for Benelux, and that has unfortunately fallen, except for Luxembourg, the plucky Luxembourgers are fighting on. However, we have had to do a very, very hasty uh, retreat to our rather thin line here in northern France. We're trying to boost it as much as we possibly can, but it's going to be a challenge. We do have quite a lot of troops pretty well entrenched up here, so I'm hoping that we can hold it okay, but it, yeah, it's, it's going to be hard. It's definitely going to be hard. Uh, one thing I can do, actually, is I can shift some of these units away. I don't want to shift you all. Yeah, some of these tanks. No, not the entrenched ones. Um, some of the non-entrenched tanks and some of the motorized I'm going to attach to Benelux because they're going to need more defense and you're only holding two provinces so you should be okay uh oh have you seen? yeah you've seen Alright, Decimetric Radar is done. Good. Now, I desperately need the level 2 fighters, because we are losing the fighter war. Okay, so I think that you lot are going to have to give up that territory. So, pull back. Pull back. Alright, so where are we building those? That's the line. That's the line we want to hold. Okay. Uh, what I might do is tell you lot to go to the top. Except for you, because you've almost finished. Okay. And the fight is just going to go on. These guys just need to entrench, like, as quickly as possible. I mean, we do have engineers. Yeah, like, really good engineers, actually, in all of our divisions. So we should be okay. But, yeah, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> What's your front right now? Your front is all the way along there, really? Shouldn't be. Let's reduce it. Let's adjust that. And yes, you are assigned to the tanks. Fine. All of you are assigned to the Benelux line. And then Maginot is assigned to the Maginot line. So we've we've essentially got three armies here. And the reason for doing that is you want to keep your fronts small so that you don't have constant strategic manoeuvring to uh to reposition, basically. Oh, that is a lot of divisions fighting in Luxembourg. Um, so, we've basically given... No one's defending that, really. Go with Benelux. That's yours too, man. Defend it. Thank you. <laughs> don't just let them walk through, please. That would be silly. So yeah, we have these small lines, so we don't have the constant moving of troops uh, at strategic level. Like this guy here with the um, railroad track, he's strategically deploying, and then if we find him in the list, there he is, you can see he has zero organization, and that is because he's doing that strategic deploy. So, constant strategic deploying on the front is very, very bad, and the AI likes to do it. So you want to keep your fronts small, so they don't. Meanwhile, Alpine seems to be holding. The British are launching a pretty major naval offensive for Italy, which I'm fairly sure is distracting them a fair amount. Although I wouldn't mind the uh, Italians trying to hit us here. So they are launching an offensive there, which is losing. Right, you. Cancel that. I don't want you attacking anymore. However, we will keep up. No, 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 no. That's not changed. That's not changed. Uh, don't make any moves. 
it was the offensive line I was trying to do, and I would still like your offensive line to be like that. And I would still like you all to be assigned to it, but don't do anything with it. Yeah, cool. Okay. Who's suffering low supplies? Probably some people up here because there is a lot of fighting going on. Why is there another big opening here? Guys! Come on! Stop being idiots. It's because you have a massive army there in Luxembourg. Like a bunch of idiots. Oh, I've just reassigned a whole bunch of... Oh, son of a... I wasn't thinking when I did that. Are you? Right, you are all Maginot, I'm fairly sure. And then... You are all Benelux. I'm fairly sure. And then you are holding that. Badly. Yeah, you're just letting them through. Don't. Because <laughs> that's one of the locations with forts, in fact. Oh, those are. Are those forts I built? Champagne is. Well, that's the province. Um. I have a feeling they are. So they are pushing into France now, which is really, really irritating. Oh, am I starting to get some new troops? I am. Excellent. You. Join Patin, Patin. Your job is to hold that. Go. Have my African troops arrived yet? No. They're on the way, though. They're on the way. The war for Libya, it's all down to uh, you now, UK. Sorry, guys, but I need my troops back at home. How's Asia doing? Asia is still holding. I could withdraw some of my garrison troops, but I'm kind of reluctant to do that because I do see these random Italian armies like circling around. Um, you know what I do need to do actually really, really, really badly. Sorry, it's going to be construction, land fort. Which one is Paris? Oh man, Paris on the wrong side of the river. Oh, it just had to be on the wrong side of the river, didn't it? <laughs> Can we move Paris over here, please? Alright, so we're going to beef up Paris and then everything near it. something like that and the reason we're doing this is that we don't get surrounded uh, as easily so you don't get the multiple uh, attack sides on Paris so we're not going to do that because we want to hold the river if they're attacking us over the river it's a better thing okay so that will need to do so we're going to shift you to the top and you You are definitely the most important. And then these. Something like that. I think that will do. Um, how are we actually doing? on top. Okay, go. So I do have a lot of troops around, so I reckon I can put up a decent defense of Paris if I need to. I can shift troops away from Maginot, though that will mean much of the rest of France will fall very quickly. 
But holding Paris is just so worth so many um, victory points that that is an area I definitely want to try and hold if possible. Okay, Luxembourg just fell. Luxembourg has capitulated. Fighting this off. Okay, their assault has just begun again. I do have men on the way in. Ooh, they're about to push us back here. That's not good. How's air base construction going? Oh, not air base, sorry. Fighter. Four a day, and nothing from you yet. And we are using an awful lot of well, two infantry weapons. Or rather, we have a lot. I think I need to reduce the production of those so that we have production freed up elsewhere. Because we do have a lot kind of in reserve, in, in store. We do still have the African troops filing through into France. In fact, we could withdraw the final group of this lot. And Syria is very secure, actually. So, whoops. In the Middle East, you guys can join Benelux. And... Madagascar, you are in absolutely no danger. You can join Banalux. And then North Africa, less important. Go join Banalux, off you go. We're basically doing a uh, Roman Empire here and just shifting as many troops as we possibly can to that front. It's just what we have to do, so... Um, what was I going to check on? I've totally forgotten. Oh, do we have another wave of soldiers? No. Still lacking a whole bunch of anti tank. Oh, because they have to upgrade those guys first. Um,. You know what then? Let's cancel some of these so that the reinforcement material goes to the troops who actually need it. I.e. those currently fighting. That'll do. Hopefully that provides a bit of an equipment boost. Uh, aircraft, that's what I was going to check. How are we actually doing? All right. This is a lost cause. I'll scrap you. Don't want you reinforcing. The British will need to do that. Northern France. They've lost 1,300 bombers, and that's it. We've lost 734 fighters, so roughly two for one. So that's not too bad. Southern France is not having nearly the same problems. So, who is currently fighting in southern France? I might shift both of you to northern France. And then go to northern France, and I'm going to do rebase all. Like so. So you're all rebased in the best locations for the distance you have to travel. At least I think that's how that works. hope so. Man, they're really pushing. Okay, so Benelux line is getting a bit too long. Let's reduce it. 
a bit. And then your line could do with being a bit longer. In the Maginot, you guys are just holding strong. Right. I don't need the overlap. Okay. Ooh, you're in danger of being pushed back. Ah! I mean, as long as I can keep supplies going in, it's not the end of the world. Except that the enemy will now be able to attack us from multiple positions. Uh, we do have three British units, we're going to withdraw. We have a river there. As long as we can cross that river, we're not going to get stack wiped. There we go, we made it. Okay, good. They are pushing this way hard. Alright, garrison. Join Benelux. Anyone have tanks? Oh, whoops. Your front line is there. Your offensive line is really quite simple. <laughs> Take this stuff back. But in the meantime, hold that line. Just hold. Stop the uh, Axis getting through. They're punching through way too much. Oh man, I feel like the Soviet Union without the massive country for them to push through. <laughs> this is actually rather difficult. Oh. Nuclear effort. Okay, cool. France pursues nuclear technology. For the following initial test, the politicians of France have decided to direct French research towards the development of nuclear technology. The technology is still highly experimental and there's great uncertainty whether it has any practical applications at all. Who knows where this might lead their war effort. We'll conduct our research in secret. Now I can get that research slot. Okay, so, let's pause that. Where can I see, ah, oh, here we go, how close I am to capitulating. 15%. Controls 91% of the victory points. We've lost 140,000 in this war. Poland lost 414,000. Yikes. We've caused the Italians 500 and the Germans 300. War goal, take Danzig. <laughs> hmm. well, we are being pushed steadily back. And they are on the boundaries of France here. German Blitzkrieg is pushing us, and it's meaning that we, we're not having time to entrench. That, that's the problem. Mm, mm. Soviet white peace with Finland, eh? Okay, so we've just been cut off here. This is a very, very big problem. Um, I wish I'd seen that hack coming. I need your tanks. If any of them are available. To punch through here. None available. Really? None? I 
need to rescue these guys. Pull them back. Losing 23, 27. Lots of troops is bad. <laughs> Yay for online maths. Hold for a while, but not very long. Is the problem? Particularly as there's no supply point up there. How's our production suffering from this? Thankfully, most of our production is actually at the back of the country. So I kind of foresaw this happening. They are pushing through quicker than I had expected. I should have learnt from history, clearly. Are we pushing? So we need to be pushing, guys. Oh, we're losing again. Um, to attack. Idiots. Stop. Oh, for goodness sake. Thank you. Soviet Union claims Bessarabia. After massing forces along the Romanian border, the Soviet Union has issued an ultimatum to the government in Bucharest for the immediate transfer of Bessarabia to their control. The region wants to belong to the Russian Empire, which the Soviet Union sees as sufficient legal basis to their demands. Romania has declared it has no choice but to accede, and its forces have withdrawn from Bessarabia. Unfortunate. Oh man, we're losing that push. Join it. I mean, the war in Italy is actually going fairly well, but I kind of wish the British had their armies up here rather than down there. France is in a state of war. Normally an election would be held at this time, but being in the midst of an important conflict, m many argue that cannot afford to spend time on political campaigning or a change of leadership if that should come about. Meanwhile, others claim that declaring the ongoing war a valid reason for skipping elections the first step towards eroding French democracy. After all, letting military matters take precedence over people's influence would be a slippery slope. Elections will be held as normal. Yeah, because we want the unity. We're up to 60%. Uh, they're attacking us from our 
directions. Well, the Japanese do have a border with us now over here. And for some reason, you are not now defending that border. That's the border you need. What? What? No. Ah! Front line. There you go. That's what I want you to hold. We have free dockyards. How am I getting more dockyards? I'm not building any. Oh well, I'm not one to complain. I will have some more convoys probably. Oh, maybe it's Len Lease. How can I tell how many I'm getting? No idea. Um, how can I tell? Like, are you giving me something? What about US? Are you doing anything? Doesn't say. So I don't know. Is that answer? Oh, we shot down the Red Knight. Fantastic. Come from behind. We need to take this. Ah, oh, the British are arriving on that flank, finally. Ooh. 
You guys are still holding strong. You guys are actually pushing the Italians still. That's good. We're building a defensive line here. It's down here that we're starting to collapse badly. Oh, for Pete's sake. Um, hmm. I think we might actually lose the war on this flank. Through the Maginot. They got round the back of us. I can't break out. I'm out of supplies. And that's going to mean an awful lot of dead troops. I mean, there was, what, 30 down up there? There's another 27 there. Another 8 there. Let's get military access through you, though that's unlikely. Nope. Alright, Maginot. Your imagine I don't hold that line anymore just escape if you can Launch your counter-offensive. See if you can link up with them. You do have my tanks, so... Might be able to, but... Why are we so low on supplies? Like, what are we lacking? Reinforcement block, no supply from capital. Really? Yeah, you do. shouldn't be having any supply problems except if I'm literally low out of materials which I guess will be you lot alright well I think that is it for this episode so thank you very much for watching next episode might well be the fall of France because if we lose these guys that is a huge part of our army absolutely massive so yeah, we'll see we'll see thanks very much for joining and I'll catch you next time